just want to do a quick little video. I've got the Phantom 2. These are the auto tracks that I have installed. Got your GPS compass back there, your antenna mounts, and the gear mount right in there. Around here. And of course you got your sensor right there. That's the ultrasonic sensor. And we're gonna take off. Take off here. And we're less than 150 centimeters. And I apologize, it's kind of windy today, but they'll stay like this, and then I go up a little further, and they'll go up, come back down to a certain amount here, 150 centimeters. And they come back down. There's that. So, what's cool is after you get in the air and you get up there, they go up, and then you're just good to fly. It's pretty awesome. They retract up all the way out of the way, which is pretty cool. So your camera, if you've got a three-axis gimbal, definitely gonna get the shot you're looking for. Bring her in for a low hover. down just a little bit here hit that threshold there we go a little spin around here I'll bring it back to us and there you have it guys fully automatic retractable landing gear that sensing the ground using ultrasonic sensors these are 3d printed and got the again got the sensor right there and I've actually just got that velcro on there it's removable you can uh, use it on your other sets of retracts if you want to automate those as well as you can see the compass there so after you install them you just simply do a compass calibration you're good to go and I've actually got the auto tracks running off the main battery for the quad so um, they just simply plug into the servo white cable you just plug into the servo Y cable and then uh, the battery from your quad and you're good to go. So tell me what you guys think. Thanks for watching.